Find the area of the rectangle. Length and width are hubbada hubbada wada. Yeah, there's a lot going on up there. And normally when we were asked to find the area, we typically just have these numbers like a five and a four, and we multiply them together and we get the area. Well, if you can multiply polynomials, which if you've watched my previous videos, you should be able to do, then this problem should be no sweat off your back. Let's talk about how we would do it. Find the area of a given rectangle with polynomials. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to ask ourselves, how do we find the area of a rectangle? And we all know that the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. So if we can take our length times our width, then we're able to find the area of given rectangle. So I'm going to take this 4x squared. I'm going to multiply it by all of this, which is two terms. So if I'm taking something that's single by itself and multiplying it by two parts, I've got to use the... It's, it's a property. I know it. Come on, what's that property called? We use it all the time in math. It's the distributed property. So this times both parts would look simply like this. 4x squared times 3x squared plus 2x. So I'm going to distribute 4x squared to both parts. I like to draw these lines just to remind myself not to forget about doing the second part. And we are multiplying. Now, what property or rule we're going to use now is the product rule of exponents. We need to understand what the product rule of exponents does and how it works to answer this problem. So first, 4x squared times 3x. I want us to only think about that, like completely ignore the fact that there's any more. We're just going to multiply 4x squared times 3x squared. So 4x squared times 3x squared, 4 times 3 is going to give me a 12. And x squared times x squared, my bases are the same. Product rule tells me to just add my exponents, 2 plus 2, to get x to the fourth. Now we are adding 4x squared plus the 2x. we got to add this part because that's the operation in between. So now we're going to say plus 4x squared uh, times 2x, and we're going to work this part out. Again, we're going to need to use the product rule. 4 times 2, don't overthink it, plus 8. Do this part first, then do this part. Bases are the same. I have an x and another x. Product rule tells me to add my exponents. Now, what I will see a lot of times from kids is they're going to write 8x squared because they see the 2 and they don't see anything here. But there actually is an invisible exponent there. It's just not shown. When you have an x, it is x to the first power. It does not hurt for you to write that down. That is a helpful tip, a hint that I'll give my students. Uh, if you typically would forget about writing that down or adding that extra 1, put the 1 there. Okay, It doesn't hurt by any means. So now you have 2 plus 1, which is going to give you x to the third. And we are now done. We cannot combine this any further or simplify it any further because these are not like terms. This power goes to the fourth, while this power goes to the third. Therefore, we cannot add them together. If we were being asked to multiply, we'd have no problems. We'd just multiply the 8 and the x to the fourth, add them together, and we'd be good there. But we're being asked to add, and you cannot add things that are not like terms. They'd have to have the same exponent in order for them to be a like term. So let's go over here, copy down our answer. Our area is 12x to the fourth plus 8x to the third. And that would be the area of this rectangle. So you now know, if you are given multiple terms in the polynomial, that you're going to need to use the distributive property in order to solve it. Follow these steps, and you can do one of these problems as well. All right, hopefully it makes sense. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. I'll try and get back to you explaining what it is that you're not sure of. And um, as always, good luck on your upcoming test.